The husband beat his wife to death with a stick, and the wife actually turned into a goldfish after her death. Daughter secretly fed it for more than 10 years, but the heartless stepmother grabbed and made into baked fish. What's even more annoying is that she doesn't treat her adopted daughter as a human being. She makes her work hard every day and scolds her at every turn, but today she gave Anna fish to eat. Anna was so surprised that she stuffed the fish into her mouth in fear. However, her stepmother and her own daughter smiled at her, proudly asked her if this goldfish smelled good. Anna was instantly nonchalant after hearing this. She realized that it could be her own mother. She spat it out straight away. She refused to accept this fact. She quickly ran to the river and shouted, Mom, Mom, I've come to see you. Come out quickly. How can I live without you? But no matter how hard she tried to shout, even her voice became hoarse, but her mother did not appear. Anna fainted from exhaustion on the ground. While she was dizzy, a mysterious woman suddenly appeared beside her. She gently soothed Anna. Anna seemed to feel her mother's breath. She shed tears of emotion, but when she woke up, her mother was gone. Anna could only go home sadly. Stepmother wants to give the cat the leftover fish bones. Anna tried desperately to stop it. It turned out that the goldfish was her mother. Anna got down on her knees and begged them, only to have her stepmother kick her away. Anna had no choice but to forcibly snatch some of the leftovers from the cat's mouth. Anna quietly buried her mother next to the house so that she could be with her mother every day. Who would have thought? The next day, Anna came to see an eggplant tree growing on the rocky ground. Anna smiled the long-awaited smile. She knew it must be her mother. She watered the eggplant tree regularly every day. Gradually, her sister found out about it. She guessed that the eggplant tree might be Anna's mother. So she told her parents to uproot the tree. When Anna found it, it had withered away. When she returned home, she saw that her mother had been made into a dish. She was instantly devastated. She spent a long time running over to it and grabbed it. Her stepmother got angry, grabbed her by the hair, and gave her a hard time. Wouldn't there be retribution for such a vicious stepmother? Of course there was. That night, a lightning bolt suddenly fell from the sky. The stepmother seemed to hear someone calling her. She took her husband and went to see. She found a woman with long hair. The stepmother carefully tapped the woman on the shoulder. The woman immediately twisted around. The stepmother was startled awake. It turned out to be a dream. This woman was afraid of retribution, so she found a wizard with great power. She told the sorcerer that she was willing to sacrifice everything if the woman was never born again. When the sorcerer listened, he cut a hole with his knife. It exploded into a puff of black smoke and disappeared. When she returned home, the stepmother never had a nightmare again. To celebrate the event, she beat Anna up. Anna was so aggravated, she fell on her bed and cried. She suddenly felt something under her pillow. She opened it and saw that it was an eggplant root. Anna held it tightly in her arms. She had the motivation to live again, to escape her stepmother's clutches. She ran deep into the forest alone. She buried the eggplant root and made sure no one was around. Anna took time to look at it every day, but after a long time, it didn't sprout. As her stepmother did not see Anna every day, she accused Anna of being lazy. She beat her up again. Anna cried out in pain, but her father saw it and didn't care. In the moment, the roots seemed to hear her daughter's cry for help. Gradually, it poked its head out and radiated a golden light. A tree with a golden glow was born. 